Today on the channel, we're back at it with another grandma vehicle. We've got the Star Wars Assault Walker. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxing and review in 2021 and possibly beyond. And today, we've got another grandma vehicle, and for you guys who don't know what a grandma vehicle is, it's when you go out with your grandma, when you're a kid, and you know grandma's not going to cheap out on you, she's always going to buy you something good, she's not going to get you just a plain Jane Star Wars G.I. Joe figure, she's going to go to that next level, get you one of these mini vehicles with a figure. She's not going all the way out and getting you the Millennium Falcon or anything, but she'll get you one of these middle of the road price point figures because you know what? Your grandma loves you and that's why they're a grandma vehicle. But for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And today on the channel, we've got this Assault Walker Grandma vehicle, a middle of the road vehicle, one I have no experience with. I don't even remember this in any of the uh, later prequel movies at all. So it'll be an interesting one, but we're going to do it like we normally do. We're going to take a look at the packaging first. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there once we get it unboxed. So let's take a look at the packaging first on this Assault Walker. So there you go right there. We got the little uh, trooper down below in the corner there, so it does come with a figure. A lot of artwork, a lot of stuff on the front here. doesn't really show you what the figure is or what the vehicle is, um, I should say. So it's a little interesting packaging here. A lot going on on the package on the front. You got Star Wars logo very up top there. On the side, you got the Trooper, of course. The other side, you got Disney. You got this little forest logo. It must have something to do with recycling or something. I'm I'm guessing. On the top, nothing too fun. All the warnings you ever want on the bottom, and then the backs where the real meat and potatoes are. There it is. Kind of shows what's going on here. We got a little blurb at the top. We'll read that. And then you can see what the uh, trooper he fits there in the walker. Uh, the Assault Walker, as it's called, ages four and up. Now, let's see what it says about this. Now, this looks a lot like an ATST walker. Uh, not quite the ATAT, -AT, but an ATST. Uh, most rememberable from Endor, of course. Beautiful this time of year, as you guys all know. These mobile assault walkers operate as mechanized cavalry units, storming enemy positions and running down fleeing troops. If you say so. So there it is. So it says, also look for Captain Phasma, speeder bike, first order stormtrooper. I don't know. We'll see how it is. Let's unbox it like we normally do. Let's pull it out of the package. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what all the fuss is about. If it'll come out. If it'll come out and play. Come on. Oh, okay. We're going to just go hardcore. We're just going to rip this box up. There it is. See you later off to the side. How about the figure first? Just uh, your regular first order stormtrooper there in the plastic prison. Comes with his little blaster gun. The white and black attack, as some may say. Pop it out. I don't think there's going to be a lot to write home about this figure. See you later. Uh, really not. Basically, Power of the Force style figures, you guys know that gives you the head movement. You get some waist. You get no waist movement. No waist movement. You get the arms and the legs up and down, and that is about it. Got a blaster, just fits right in there, fits really good. I don't mind this though, I don't mind the lack of articulation on something like this. This is an army builder, a crowd builder, uh, yeah, so you don't really need a ton of articulation. I mean, you could, obviously more articulation is always better, just uh, not in the cards right here. So there you go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go, get this guy out of here. Is that it? That is it. Uh-oh, I cut my finger, it finally happened. Blood. I finally cut my finger after hundreds of unboxing and reviews. I finally slid it open. Well, first time for everything. Let's see. Oh, we'll wipe all the blood on the package. Look at that. I told you I'm going to cut my finger one of these days. It's going to happen. And I'm going to continue the review. I should probably go get stitches. Probably get this finger stitched back on it. It's just hanging by a thread. See you later. But no, I'm going to power on through this review. We're going to talk about this assault walker. No instructions with this assault walker, but really none needed, as I can see right here. Huh. Actually, I like this stuff. It's a... Oh, boy. We're, we're, we're gushing. We got a gusher. Hopefully, I don't get blood all over the table, all over this stormtrooper here. He just fits right in there real easy. This is a pretty solid one, actually. This is better than expected. I thought I'd have put this together. I thought it would have some kind of weird mechanisms going on and stuff like that. 
and it really doesn't. It's just, uh, it looks like your ATST uh, without all the bells and whistles and without the height and size, of course. This is almost like akin to a speeder bike. It's a smaller vehicle, but like I said, it's for crowd control. It's the Calvary, all that kind of stuff. I'm guessing faster. I'm guessing nimble. I don't recall these being in the movie at all. Does anybody remember these being in the movie? I must have missed it, possibly. Not sure, but or it could just be one of those expanded universe things they shoehorn in some of these lines. But I actually like stuff like this. I like this little vehicle. This would be a fun one to have a couple of these out there side by side. Uh, the legs do move, so you can't pretend they're walking or it can just stand, you know, like a statue, basically. There it is right there. Uh, you got some movement in the handheld and the grips a little bit so you can move it so the stormtrooper can grip the controls uh, you got this weapon down here that is on a, a ball joint so you can move this guy around a little bit see what's going on nothing firing off of this thing nothing shooting off of this thing that i see got antennas on the back it's basically just a very cool plain jane little figure I, little figure little vehicle i like this i like this a lot actually I'm not sure what this was. I think I paid $10 for this. I got it as part of that big sale at my local toy store they had over the 4th of July. Uh, $10 for this, I'd pay this all day long. I'd buy a couple more at $10 price point. I'm guessing these were $15 to $20 upon release. Uh, somebody can let me know down in the comments below. I mean, not a lot to this. And I expected it to have some kind of weird gimmick with the legs kicking and stuff like that, but it's not. It's just you move it on your own. You can choose how you want it. No peg holes or anything. But a very solid grandma s vehicle this is what i like i love things like this when i was a kid uh, it's always funner getting a vehicle and a figure than just a straight up figure uh, i've just always enjoyed these littler vehicles so it's really fun to get one of these here that i like a lot actually and i'm gonna be on the lookout for two or three more of these guys just kind of army build a world a little bit but very very solid I'd love your opinion. Did you ever pick this one up? Have you ever seen one of these out in the wild? I don't even remember this on the pegs back in the day. Were they peg warmers? I have no recollection of this at my Targets, Walmart stores, etc. I just remember it at my local toy store. And like I said, it was, it was got to get a deal time when I got this for $10. But you guys let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments. Let me know if you have this. Let me know your thoughts on it, of course. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow me on social media, at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, and of course, Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson. So there it is. For a little first order Stormtrooper Assault Walker, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon. I better get a Band-Aid.